Ladies and gentlemen of Bachelor Nation, we have breaking news to report to you. Claire Crowley got married. She said yes. They went down the aisle, folks. We're going to break it down right now. Photos just released on people... Uh, and this is exciting. This is groundbreaking. We thought this was going to happen this year, but didn't know it was going to be so soon. Congratulations to Claire. Now, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Dawkins, we're going to share the article that uh, that they just released. This is Claire's Instagram post. She's uh, posing in front of a nice antique white vehicle there. And there she is with her husband. He's got the nice kicks on. A beautiful wedding dress. As you know, just days ago, we reported that Claire's wedding dress was stolen out of the back of her car. She had a wedding dress that she was uh, preparing for alterations. Alterations? Altercations? There'll be some alterations here. And uh, she went on a vacation to Hawaii, came back, and her wedding dress was stolen. Stolen. She had a last minute dress made for her. It looks stunning. It was actually the original dress that she had thrown on her Pinterest board. You know, ladies with their Pinterest boards with, you know, brides to be and Pinterest. It's a scary place. Babe, did you know I pinned it to the board? Did you not get the notification? Gentlemen, if you're getting married, set your notifications on, get on that Pinterest board and, uh, and, uh, get in line folks. So there she is. She's got the veil and, um, here's her next photo, her exiting this beautiful vehicle. Claire, uh, coming up aces here. There's her photo. Her husband now is CEO of a company and he's not big on social media, which is probably the biggest perk she has. She's like, wait, you don't care about the internet? Let's get married. So there they are. Let's see what she's got on her Instagram stories from 23 hours ago. Any guesses what this is for? Maybe it was to ice down her feet. Who knows? And then there she was, uh, February 1st, 2023, the date she said yes. And then um, we're going to get into the ring in the People magazine. So let's just read the article. The Bachelorette's Claire Crowley. Oh, should we do it with Canon and D on the background? We love some good Canon and D. I don't, Canon and C, no thanks. Canon and F, no way. Canon and D, all day. If I had to do this day over every single day for the rest of my life, I wouldn't change a thing, Claire said of the couple's February 1st ceremony in Sacramento, California. She's a Bachelorette no more. Claire Crowley married mascot sports CEO Ryan Dawkins. In an intimate ceremony in Sacramento, California, on February 1st, people can exclusively confirm. If I had to do this day over every single day for the rest of my life, I wouldn't change a thing. The happy nuptials took place just days after Crowley revealed that her wedding dress had been stolen from her car. In the moment, I was like, ugh, what do I do? She wrote on Instagram, and I thought, it's okay. It's about the moment and what we're celebrating. I can wear anything, and I'll be happy that we're getting married. Claire wore a replacement dress from Flair's Bridal, a gown she calls her dream wedding look. It's a fitting happy ending for the newlyweds who got engaged in October during a romantic lantern festival in Las Vegas. I am over the moon, Crowley told people at the time. This was the last thing I expected right now, especially coming from where I was a year ago. It's just been a serious journey and Ryan has been by my side since the very beginning. Crowley was previously in a relationship with Dale Moss, to whom she became engaged after just a few weeks on The Bachelorette. The engagement came uh, so early in the season that Moss and Crowley left the show in the middle of filming this season to pursue their relationship off screen. They split up twice after the show, making it stick in September of 2021. Crowley added that Dawkins, who, who she began dating in 2021, doesn't care about fame or attention. Really, what he's into in it for is my heart, and he is so consistent and so vocal about how much he loves me. It is something I have never experienced. It's been such a gift having him in my life. The newlyweds went Instagram official last September when he, she shared a video of them laughing and kissing in a car with a pink heart. Accompanying the post with a simple caption, she wrote, Him. She also shared the clip on her Instagram story with an additional caption describing Dawkins as my perfect match. Claire Crowley additionally pinned one comment that implied she's been in a relationship for a year. Finally, a year later and y'all are still so effing cute. So there she is, Claire Crowley. Uh, you can't see from this photo, but in the veil it says worth the wait. Uh, oh, no, wrong wedding. All right, folks. So there she is. Let's see what she's got um, here. <clears throat> we couldn't be happier for Claire tying the knot with her husband yesterday in Sacramento. Says Little Red Management. I'm assuming that's her management group. Beauty Broke official said, congratulations to my beautiful friend Claire and her new hubby, Ryan. Couldn't be happier for her. So beyond well-deserved. We all deserve someone loyal and wonderful who is going to love us unconditionally and stand by our side through this life. It's so important. So incredibly happy for you, Claire Crowley. As you guys know, we followed Claire uh, from her quick exit as the Bachelorette to her relationship with Dale Moss. And if you remember, they broke up and then were seen back together in Florida, hanging out at a fish restaurant 
restaurant, or Asparagate, as it was called. We pieced that story back together. Then they were spotted in New York City. They ended up breaking up. And Claire has discussed uh, so many different things with the Bachelor community, which has made her a real... Um, a real valuable member of the alumni. She talked about her breast implant illness and her black, uh, her breast explant surgery, which she got this past year, how she's overcome that and felt so much better after dealing with so many different issues revolving around that. She's talked about her anxiety from the show. She's discussed, um, so, uh, you know, so many other aspects of overcoming childhood trauma due to, uh, you know, different scenarios. So we're very happy for Claire. And once we get more photos, we'll post them. There's going to be a ton more to talk about. I'm going live right now on the Patreon if you want to be a part of that conversation. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I love when I catch this information live and last minute. Uh, this wasn't leaked yesterday, so whoever went to this intimate wedding kept true to their NDAs. Let's see if there's any other comments we have here. Again, this information was just made live here. Uh, the comments on uh, social media are all positive. Congrats to the happy couple. Now I just need to know if he's seen the video from her dad. Yeah, that's a question. Of course, she said she had a video that her dad had made to her future husband. Oh, I could get emotional thinking about it. So of course, there's going to be so much to share uh, regarding how the wedding went, other photos. I love weddings that are not on a weekend. Didn't have many details, but it just seemed like a chill and peaceful day for her. Congrats to Claire. Um, Someone said, it's insane how much money you can save by not having your wedding on a weekend or Friday night. Plus, a lot of people don't have traditional Monday through Friday schedules anymore, especially if it's a small ceremony and, you know, they're not worried about traveling. I mean, we thought about that. We're like, let's do a Tuesday wedding. But, you know, that's that's another way to piss off your family. Um, just like having them go all the way to Mexico. It was worth it. All right. So there's Claire. And let's go to some of the comments on her Instagram before we get out of here. So she posted this just four days ago. Something borrowed, something blue. Happy tears. Here's to me and you. So happy tears indeed. And good for Claire. I mean, look, here's how it works in the bachelor world. You know that these photos, exclusive photos, probably, I mean, it's not, it's not Brad Pitt. It's not the 1990s or 2000s where these photos probably fetch six figures. They probably get six figures back in the day. My guess is there's still 15 grand there. So if the photos are going to come out, slap a people's logo on them and coordinate with the magazine and make some of that money back. Why not? I mean, by all means, they didn't, uh, they, uh, Claire didn't, um, uh, you know, I don't judge anybody who, uh, I want to use the word pimps out. I don't know another way to put it, exploits their wedding. I don't judge people who exploit their wedding for any influencer deals that might come from it. It's your big day. There's going to be a lot of big eyeballs on you. So if the photos are going to be shared by people and other magazines anyway, give someone the exclusive rights. Now, you might say the celebrities that sell their baby photos. That's a, that's a whole different argument if you don't need the money, whatever. But hey, if if, if someone told me, hey, Dave, you know, if, if your mom sold a photo of you as a baby for 50 grand and it could pay for your college, I'd be like, Dad, sell a photo of me. I don't care if it's naked. I don't care if I'm bathing in a fountain. Who cares? You know what I mean? Make that money. But that's me. Uh, that's me, post-capitalism Dave. So here's Claire. Here's the photo. Congrats from Tasha. She said, you look stunning, Claire. So happy for your ever after. And again, more of these blinds. Honey, what do the blinds mean on Instagram? What the hell does this icon mean? I don't know. Ben Higgins said, congrats. Andy Dorfman says, oh, congrats. So happy for you. Um, Brian Abasolo, of course. Rachel Lindsay's husband says, congrats. Caroline Lunny, Claire, OMG, it was perfect. Cannot wait to hear all about it. Congrats. Oh, was she there then? Olivia Caridi said, oh, I'm so thrilled, my girl. I love you so much. Bree Staus, crying. Love you so much. Justin takes back. Says, absolute perfect, my queen. What do the blinds mean, honey? Do you know? Can someone tell me? Can someone call in? I guess I could just Google it. Uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt even responded. This makes me so happy. We had Jennifer Love Hewitt, and um, I guess we should respond. Oh, breaking news. Oh, hold on. Oh, breaking news. Breaking news. So, so happy. Congrats. Um, uh, okay. Oh, spelled that wrong. Hold on. Okay, so here we are. All right, if you enjoy the live on-the-fly content, this is it. We'll see what other photos come out, but this is just... Let's see. She posted this 29 minutes ago, so we are first to this story here. And congrats to her and her partner. There they are. If you dip, I dip, you dip, hanging out, and um, we'll have to see uh, if they've got any... Now, let's see. I, I don't... I, I, you know, you guys know I've already made plenty of stories already regarding their actual engagement, but here it is. Here's the photo from their engagement. 
16 weeks ago, and now they are officially together. Will babies be in the future? I know how it works. When are you going to get married? We're married. When are you going to have kids? They're kids. What school are they going to go to? I don't know. Are they going to go to college? I don't know. Who Do they vote left or right? I don't know. You know, it's just one, one thing after another. All right, folks, congrats to Claire and her new husband. She said yes. He said yes. And cheers to a life full of happiness and babies, if that's what you so choose. All right, folks, we'll be back with more content right after this.